Hey, welcome everyone. This video is gonna teach you how to stream your PS5 console over to an iPhone or iPad device. Now, if you wanna see the written instructions on how to get this done, you can find a link to my website in the video description. Now, I'm using a, an iPad in this video, but the steps are exactly the same for an iPhone. The only reason I'm using an iPad is because the screen is bigger. It's much easier to record and show you guys the playback. So, a couple of things to keep in mind is that this works best if your PS5 console is on a wired ethernet connection, and then if your iPhone or iPad, is on the same network as your PS5 console. Not only that, it's also best if it has a strong Wi-Fi connection. The next thing you'll need is a free account for a PlayStation Network account. Basically, this is the PlayStation Network account you're gonna use on your PS5 console. You need to have those credentials handy. So the first thing I'm gonna do is set up your PS5 console to get ready for streaming. What you'll wanna do on your PS5 console is go to the main settings menu, then go to system, then remote play on the left, and then turn on enable remote play. While still under the system page, select power saving on the left, select features available in rest mode. In this section, make sure stay connected to internet and enable turning on PS5 from network are both on. That last step basically means if you ever put your PlayStation console into sleep mode, you can wake it up from your app on your mobile device. So for the rest of this video, whenever I say Apple device, I'm referring to an iPhone or iPad, just cause it's easier for me to say. So what you wanna do is pair the PS5 controller over to your Apple device and to get this done is super easy. What you want to do is press and hold the PlayStation button and the share button together at the same time and hold those two buttons together until the light on the controller starts to flash. When the light starts to flash, that's when you know it's in pairing mode. Then on your Apple device, go to the main system settings menu and then select Bluetooth. And then we're going to look for a device called DualSense Wireless Controller to simply tap on it and it should connect to your DualSense Wireless Controller. The next thing you'll need on your Apple device is the Remote Play app. I'll put a link to the app in the video description, or you can simply go to the App Store and look for Remote Play by the developer PlayStation Mobile. So the first thing you'll see is the amount of data you can provide to Sony. You can provide a lot of data or limited. What you select up to here is completely up to you. And of course it's saying it wants to allow connectivity to local devices on your network, say OK, because it's going to need connectivity to your PlayStation 5 console. In this case, you're going to set the PS5 icon, It'll give you a pop-up telling you what steps to do in your PlayStation 5 console, which we've already done together. So we're gonna skip that and just continue on. As it looks for the PlayStation 5 console, just give it a couple minutes. Now I did find my PlayStation 5 console, but I decided to kill the app and go back. And the reason being is because I almost forgot to skip one thing. So when you have selected your PS5 console, if you see this little gear icon at the top right, selecting it will give you additional options. The video quality of the remote play, limiting mobile data usage. So if you're on a mobile network outside of your home network, you can theoretically do that. But if you go to video quality, for example, it's one thing I want to point out is that it's capped at 720p. So even though the iPad resolution is higher than 720p, this is a limitation of Sony's technology. I have the same issue when streaming it to a PC, Mac, or even an Android device. And I have done all those other methods. You can find links to those videos in my video channel. But skipping along, what we're going to do is demonstrate that this does work, but resolution is capped at 720p. Okay, and there we have the PlayStation 5 up and running. And there's the iPad in the top left of the screen, and as you can see, I am controlling everything. Uh, it seems to be rather smooth and responsive. Now, at any point, you do have an issue trying to connect your PS5 console to an Apple device. Um, what will happen is that you might get prompted on your Apple device to enter in a pairing code. You can get those steps on the screen. It'll tell you exactly what to do on your PS5 console, and it'll kind of brute force the connection. So it's not that difficult. It's super, super easy as a backup method, if needed. And that's pretty much how you get uh, streaming over to your Apple device. Super simple. And that's pretty much a wrap. Now just one thing to keep in mind is if you want to use this service while over on mobile data, so basically your outside or home network, it can be done, but don't expect stellar results. This is strictly dependent on your mobile signal, but also your home Wi-Fi connection or wired ethernet connection, whatever you have on your PS5 console. The other thing to keep in mind is that the further away you are from your console, it doesn't matter how good your home internet is, the more physically distant you are from your home network, the worse the signal will be due to latency. A strong home network will not fix that. You could be halfway across the world and it'll be just god awful. And nothing you can do about it, but that's just literally a physical distance issue problem. So it's best to use a service while still within the same network as your PS5 console, basically in their home network. And that's pretty much a wrap for me. So if you found this video still, be sure to check my social links in the video description. Hit the like button, it does help. Subscribe and thanks for watching.